I don't use that. Worst thing comes to worst, I fucking die a tragic death or some shit, and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to, to at least have a good life. I at least... If I'm gonna if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy. What's up, everybody? I'm Page164, and this is my new tutorial series, Dead Celebrity Portraits. Every month, I'm going to come at you with the latest celebrity death and create a realistic new school portrait on the wall, step by step, so you can follow me through and paint these portraits celebrating these celebrities in your town. The first celebrity for the video series is XXX Tentacion. He recently died getting shot in front of a Harley dealership in Florida at the age of 20. His album, 17, is what got him on the tracks, and right before before his latest album was about to drop, he's taken from us. So today, I'm gonna take a picture that was released online and I'm gonna break it down in a new school way and show you guys how to paint homie on the wall and represent R.I.P. So after I came through, it kind of blocked off the head, rounded off the jaw, you know, just keeping it kind of like in a graffiti type of stilo. Now I'm trimming away at my sketch. Once I feel like I've gotten my sketch trimmed enough, I'm gonna come back with a darker color and lay out some more bold lines that I can shade off of. All right, so I'm coming through and I'm finishing up these uh, last sections of black. And even though it might seem like a lot, just trust your eyes and do all those solid sections you see in the face black. Then we're gonna start with building our colors out. So working the sweater in the piece, all the different layers and crannies of the texture of the sweater, I've come with a vanilla and laid out that first tone. And it just came up and created little crevices, little kinks. Now I'm coming back for that middle second fold of the sweater's neck and I'm laying down the blue to come back with a brighter white and to create what kind of looks like rectangles working their way all the way down. Ultimately, it'll give it this shape that the sweater has. So this being the first and front part of the uh, turtleneck, like I said, I'm gonna chop through it. Almost create like some teeth. Take my time and work my way all the way down. Okay, we're in here making progress. We took it from that dark brown, those shapes, and worked in two other tones of brown just as the base coat for the face. Got the base coat of the sweater done. Now I'm going to do the blue of the sleeves and the blue of the dreads and keep building up these colors, leaving some of the brightest ones for last. All right, so now we got all of our, all of our uh, base colors complete. You know, I've worked my way through the blues, the browns. Before I take the next step of doing the highlight color that's gonna actually cut and shape all the details, I wanna come back one more time with my black and almost kind of give it some sort of an outline, a little bit of an outline and a little bit of just reshading spots that maybe some of the overspray from the stock tip would have got back on the black. So let me go back in and trim it up and uh, then we'll step to the next color. So black outline's done, black shadowing's done, base colors are done, and now I've come back once again with the black and trimmed my way back through the shadows and brought out all the hard lines I need. So now we're gonna get back to the uh, highlight color. For the blue jean jacket, I'm gonna take it to a next tone down. I'll do a highlight color throughout the face, a little bit of highlights here and there. And uh, you basically just wanna come to every corner as if a light's hitting this at a certain angle, just like in the photograph and uh, create a new tone. Easy, right? Straight to the booth. Hey, tell me my health is a fool. Hey, she said one for a bitch I do. Hey, you put a gun on my mask. Hey, I put a hole in your parents. Hey, 
Being creative is about having fun, and doing pieces like this are definitely fun. Working with different shapes to kind of bring out the contrast of the celebrity. Hopefully these step-by-steps -step with this one will help you do your own. And by the time the next celebrity dies, I'll have a video popping online for you guys to see.